Africa is changing, and the world is pretending not to notice. Because what just happened in Ethiopia doesn't fit the old script the world wrote for us. Our youth are bold. Our cities are evolving. Our industries are waking up. And somewhere behind quiet factory doors, Ethiopia just crossed a line no one expected 300 drones built in just three months. No applause, no global headlines, no foreign advisors waiting with clipboards, just Africans building. Step inside Skywind, and you feel it instantly that electric silence found only in places where history is being shaped, not spoken. Engineers move with a kind of focused urgency like people who finally stopped asking, can we? And started declaring we are a few kilometers away, Aero Bay hums like a control center for a new era. Screens flash. Frames hang like metallic skeletons. Nobody here looks surprised. Nobody looks overwhelmed. They're not chasing permission. They're chasing progress. And that progress is spreading across farms, across borders, across infrastructure. Drones scanning thousands of hectares in minutes. Drones inspecting dams and power lines with microscopic precision. Drones giving Ethiopia a level of awareness that once required foreign consultants, foreign satellites, foreign hands. Yet the global reaction? Silence. A silence loud enough to make you wonder who gets celebrated for innovation and who gets ignored. Critics rushed in with predictable lines. They're just assembling parts. They're not really manufacturers. But they forgot something important. Every great drone nation began exactly this way. Turkey. India. Iran. Even the United States. Assembly is not a weakness. Assembly is the classroom. And while the world downplays Ethiopia's leap, Africa is paying attention. Engineers, governments, universities, they all saw something break. Not a machine. A mental barrier. Because when one African nation proves what's possible, the rest of the continent stops dreaming and starts planning. Ethiopia didn't just make drones. It made a statement. Africa will no longer outsource its future. And now the real question begins. Can this spark become a continental fire? Stay tuned. Because Africa isn't rising quietly anymore. Africa is awakening.